A year ago, I fell in love with this mountain. If you can call it that, it's more like obsession. Every day I've watched it standing on the horizon, hiding amongst the clouds, looking down over all of us like some sort of god. It had no idea that I was dreaming of it. It has no idea that after a year, I'll be there in seven days. Likewise, I have no idea what to expect once I get there. A mountain like this is unpredictable. You can't know what it is to be there without being there. The deadliest of the 14ers, the one with the highest failure rate. A mountain like this takes no prisoners. A mountain like this asks for all you have and even then it might not be enough. You see, a mountain like this can't be conquered. It allows you to be there. And if it doesn't want you there, you'll know. I've heard stories, sure. A mountain that's claimed 21 lives in the last two decades has plenty of stories. Stories of exhaustion to the point of delirium, to the point of hallucination. But the funny thing is, a mountain like this doesn't listen to stories. It doesn't care about forecasts. It doesn't care about predictions. A mountain like this is more than a mountain. It's a legend. A myth. Something that only exists in stories and whispers preferring to stick to the shadows and remain always just out of reach, forever unknowable. But what if it doesn't live up to the legend? What if you really shouldn't meet your heroes? I don't know if I could handle that. What if after this year-long love affair, I'm let down, I'm disappointed? What if it's not everything it says it is? And frankly, I'm not sure what's scarier. It being a sham, or it being everything it says it is.